When you told your girl good night, but you see her walk in the club with your side chick, who you out and wait, what? Who you invited out and told her bring a hoe for your boy? Jesus, dude! Wow, FBI career. Say if my friends wants to join the FBI, and back when he was 16 or so, he downloaded a public app that had the title DDoS, and if he tried to use it to boot someone offline on Xbox, is this considered criminal activity, and would this disqualify him from joining the FBI? Uh, well, um, shoot man, I couldn't tell you. By age 25, you should have a failed YouTube career, got it. A foreign film you watched, accidentally yet always recommend, got it. An unfinished 12 chapter fanfiction, don't got it. An unfounded hatred of TikTok, uh, I'm indifferent now, had enough. Yep, I think I meet the majority of these though. Remember that phase of grade school when it was pretty common for kids to just randomly throw up in the middle of class? Why was that a thing? Ooh, that's actually an excellent question. What the hell was going on back then? Can someone explain? No, solicitation, except Tamale Lady. Oh yeah, Tamale Lady always goes straight to the front. She can come right the hell on in. I'm giving her all my money. The sun is probably the closest thing we'll ever have to a true eldritch abomination. Hear me out here. Older than recorded history, was here longer than any of us, and will be here long after we leave. Has a finite beginning and end, but it's still incomprehensibly ancient. Burns itself into your vision instantly and can blind you if you look for too long. Further prolonged exposure can cause cancerous growths. Non-humanoid shape floating through space. Colossal flaming tentacles angrily lash out on occasion. Sort of just appeared one day and is now surrounded by the corpses of its stillborn children. People used to sacrifice other people to appease it, and I'm pretty sure it screams at us sometimes. Oh, dude, the sun screams at us all the time. But thanks to the vacuum of space, we don't have to hear the sun go, ah, 24 hours a day. How many squirrel carcasses will fit in the cooler if I already have 11 Lone Star beers and a quart of ice? <laughs> well, it depends. Have you already drank 11 beers? And that means you only have one left in the cooler? If so, 11 squirrels. If not, only one squirrel. What the hell is going on on these camping trips? The main thing that puts me off of playing chess is that there's 2,000 years of gameplay that hundreds of people with higher IQs than me have spent thousands of hours studying the history of. So much so that when I put the pawn forward, they say, ah, I see you're going for the Bulgarian somersault. And then I try to take their bishop with my knight and they go, ah, rookie mistake, you've played the Frenchman's cul-de-sac and in approximately 37 moves, I'll have won. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming. It's overwhelming for me even if I'm playing against someone that's never played before. I'm not good at chess. I cannot strategize, me too dumb. I could easily overpower nine senior citizens. Oh yeah, we could whoop their asses, man. Just one of us could do it. I hate when I'm at Goodwill and I find a dress I think is cute, and then I check the tag and it says it's from Spirit Halloween, and I suddenly see that it's not a cute dress, but in fact, a sweaty bumblebee costume. I have never seen anything that fun at Goodwill before. I'm gonna be honest with you. Khloe Kardashian's hands look like the hands of what I imagine lives under my bed and grabs my ankles in my sleep. <laughs> Oh, to each their own when it comes to fingernails. I mean, I bite and tear mine off so they look like shit, but I feel they look a lot better than someone with 14 inch fingernails. I mean, how do you get anything done with nails like that? Teacher, your essay must start with an attention grabber. Me, so I'm sitting there. Barbecue sauce on my tits. Is this the origin of that? I've, I don't know where that originally came from. I know there was a video, but did it come from this? If you cheating on your lady, I hope the women you cheated with get pregnant and your girl find out and leave you and then you find out the kid not even yours the whole time, your side bitch was married and her husband come murder your ass and help solve your homicide because he's the detective over your case and works for the cops. Wow, that is a hell of a movie. Whoa, okay, can we get that one jotted down for M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong? Someday, a guy is gonna see me eating a whole baguette with my bare hands in my parked car and think that's her. <laughs> She's the one. But are you gonna understand when they come up and say, hey, I think you're my wife. Is dream sexual and dream gender not valid? I will run over dream gender slash sexuals with my 2001 Honda Civic. <laughs> Wait, what kind of car you got though? <laughs> oh, dream sexual and dream gender. F God damn, dude. Just shut up. The population of Scotland is around 5.25 million, and there are 600 million cats in the world. So if every cat decided to invade Scotland, each Scot would have to fight off around 114 cats. And I really don't think they could pull it off. You know, I think they'd have a chance, 
just so long as they used the right weapons. Mainly, hand vacuums, spray bottles, uh, air, uh, canned air, you know, those, those scare the crap out of cats. Um, what else could they use? Full-size vacuums, even? I don't know, a riding lawnmower? I feel like that would be very effective against the cat horde. I'm just spitballing here. Scotland, we know you're not gonna be attacked by every cat in the world. Okay, we think you're not gonna be attacked by every cat in the world, but I guess it's best if you're as prepared as possible. What's the worst thing that can happen to men? Accidentally get his d chopped off with Asian scissors on a vacation in a Spanish hotel at... Dude, are you okay? What the hell happened? You just told on yourself and I'm a little concerned. Did you deserve it? No, seriously, you gotta tell us why this happened. I was bullied for being artsy. Now, tell the whole story. You were busting out the ukulele in the halls and singing Riptide. That's just the musician's version of the anime kid, right there. I knew a kid kinda like that. He chilled out and realized how dumb it was, but he used to carry his acoustic guitar everywhere he went. He was good! He played it very, very well. But man, it was so lame watching him order at the McDonald's next to our school while just showing off the acoustic guitar, hoping that the employees would notice and go, Oh, whoa, guitar? That's so rare and unique. Could you play for us, please? I hate to admit this, but our feelings on certain things really do change as we get older. Ten years ago, I would have preferred to get a new video game instead of an engagement ring, but now that I'm older, I'd prefer to get a domesticated raccoon instead of an engagement ring. Yeah, an engagement ring. You know what you could do? Literally, just think about this. You can get a titanium ring on Amazon for $10 from some, I don't know, random Chinese company. It'll get scuffed up, it'll get dirty, but it's a goddamn ring. And if you want that symbol, you spent $10 on it. You didn't have to mortgage something out. You didn't have to get a $300,000 loan to ask your girlfriend or boyfriend, you wanna get married? It's actually kinda crazy, I know. And hey, if you did wanna do that, f***ing hey, dude, that's great. I'm not trying to make you feel stupid for it, I'm just pointing out. Some people want domesticated raccoons instead of half a million dollar engagement rings. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Modern songs are so oddly specific. Like, song lyrics used to be, I love you, or I'm sad. And now they're all, we first met in an abandoned subway station that I got lost in on my way home from the club. We had sex for three consecutive days, but then your great aunt died and you've never been the same since. Now I have no one to have sex with, so I cope by snorting lines of c off my mom's treasured mirror she gave me when she broke it to me that I wasn't inbred. Guess what, fool? No one can relate to that. Okay, in 1970, Black Sabbath made a song about a guy that travels into the future and sees the end of the world, gets turned into steel by a magnetic storm on his way back, unable to warn people of the impeding apocalypse. When people continue to mock his attempts to communicate in order to save them, he becomes so angry that he goes on a rampage of revenge, causing the apocalypse he foresaw. Well, damn it, if that ain't among the most metal f stories I ever did here. Did they ever make a movie out of that? That'd be pretty f cool. Come on, not the top story. I want the Black Sabbath story, man. You found a suitcase full of $750,000 in cash in $100 bills in the brush next to a highway. You can tell that it's been there for at least a year. How would you integrate this money into your life without raising red flags? It's cash. Just use it every now and then? I mean, don't go drop 750 grand in bills on a house. You gotta chill. But I mean, look, gonna buy beers for your homies? Here's a hundred bucks. It's done. Dunzo. No one's gonna question you on that, right? Right? Apple ID account recovery contacts makes resetting your password and maintaining access to your account easier than ever. And a new digital legacy program lets you designate people as legacy contacts so they can access your account in the event of your death, coming later this year. Wait, really? I can, like, will my account to people when I die? I mean, I don't use my Apple ID for anything. I hate making an account for everything. It's so freaking annoying, but... That just seems strange, doesn't it? Why would I need anybody to access my Apple ID in the event of my death? Just delete it. I am dead. Erase it. I guess that's why? So one of your homies can go in there and wipe it from the planet? Or wipe as much of it as Apple would allow because, you know, data, money, <laughs> whatever. I don't know, dude. She's a 10, but her ex was so destructive emotionally that she's built an impenetrable barrier fortress around her feelings, and you can't do anything but be patient with her until she realizes you're not gonna hurt her. She's still a 10, though. I mean, if you're being patient and understanding, then, uh, what else can you really do? I mean, that's it. Don't try to rush things along. Just be a good person, you know? That's all we should be trying to do. Just be good people. Be decent people. Right? F her ex, first of all. You go, man. You go. How's your Monday, unknown social media manager person? 
think I'm depressed. LMAO. Hi, Vicky here, Managing Director of Socials for Amazon Prime Video. Apologies for the last message. That was an accident and will not be happening again. We're having a fabulous Monday and hope you are as well. They shot him right at his damn desk. How fast was that second message sent? How quickly did an AI read the word depressed, or LMAO, or think? How fast did that AI warn an armed security guard to come in and just cause the guy to stab himself twice in the back of the head? Come on, Amazon, we know what you're up to. Helpful grammar tip. Farther is for physical distance. Further is for metaphorical distance. And father is for emotional distance. Who hurt you? My father did. Did you not read the post? Yeah, I mean, come on! That's- who hurt you? They f***ing said! Right there! Can you read? You're eager to have sex with this person. But when you walk into their bedroom, you see something that completely ruins the mood. What is it? A messy ass room with old Pop-Tart wrappers, spilled ashtrays, dirty clothes in multiple piles, roaches on the wall, a lingering smell that's a mix of boiled eggs and flat beer, pictures of all their exes lined up in chronological order, and to top it off, their parents sitting down with cameras turned on. If you need to talk, we're here. Wait, hold on. You've got all sorts of nasty shit going on. Roaches on the wall is all you need. Hell, you know what? Trash is all you need. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be fucking that person. You should be fucking helping that person. I mean, shit. Oh, damn. Roaches? Also, quick question, their parents sitting down with cameras turned on. What the hell does that mean? Are they in the room holding cameras ready to make a porno? Are they on a Zoom or Skype or Discord call or something? What is happening? Please explain further. This is not a scenario you just made up. I refuse to believe that until I'm dead. I like hanging out with guys because there's less drama. Translation. Whenever I spend time with my female friends, we always end up doing an unabridged reading of Hamlet, and I'm salty because they always make me play Polonius? Sorry, I, I don't remember anything from Hamlet. Actually, we didn't do anything on that in school. I thought we would eventually. I just read The Giver what feels like 8,000 times. And that book, Tangerine. There were a few books we read, and I know Hamlet's not a book. Cut me some goddamn slack, okay? It's been a while since I was in high school. Not that long, but a while, all right? To level three! And you can get pegged by a gorilla with a rusty nail it keeps in the corner so the zookeepers won't find it. Uh, wh why, man? What did we do? What? Screw you, man! Okay, let's see, what does this sign say? Carrying fishing rods, helium balloons, Flags and selfie sticks near live wire is dangerous. Um, I mean, yeah, those are reasonably the only long things you would be carrying at any given moment that are enough to touch live electrical wire that will kill you. It's not really that specific. They're just thinking, what are the most common long, tall things people would potentially carry around here? This one's just a funny warning to read, because you know someone has died with a fishing rod, with a balloon, or a flagpole, or selfie stick. Those are all pretty reasonable things to accidentally poke a live wire with. <laughs> Max weight, 200 pounds, or about 2,600 pairs of scissors? All right, yeah, that wins. No, out of all the Americans will do anything to not use the metric system, that wins hands down. Also, who is Max weight? Everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Some people are secretly at war with owls, for example. Well, I wish them luck, honestly. My niece wants to know, if she donates her hair to Locks of Love and the recipient of her hair commits a crime and leaves hair at the crime scene, will her DNA be found all over the crime scene and thus incriminate her? She's 12. Yeah, I'd like to know that too. I mean, I feel like if you were incriminated somehow, they would go, oh, you literally donated hair. It says so here in their system. But I, I don't know, man. You'd have an alibi. You'd have a good alibi. Oh yeah, this person committed a murder in Ohio. I live in Alaska. Huh, how does that work? My sister kicks me in the balls. Me, who has access to the routers and can block Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, etc. Prepare to feel the wrath of a pissed off nerd with admin privileges. Oh, shut up, kitty toes. Give me motivation to study, please. If you don't study, you'll be dumb, and one day you're gonna have a son, and he's gonna come to you super late at night, and when you yell at him to try and discipline him, he'll be like, what's seven plus eight? Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, you don't even know, dumb ass. Good night. It's too hot. 
Opens window. In comes 20 flies, 8 spiders, 17 daddy long legs, 50 moths, 3 dragons, and 12 Jehovah's Witnesses. Do you not have a, a screen on your window? Dating a hot girl will really teach you more than 18 years of education. Dating a toxic person will teach you why you should buy your own milk? I really want to know the story behind this knowledge. No, yeah, we need to understand what's going on there. We cater any event. Wedding. Cousin Bob's wedding. Graduation. Horse funeral. Drug intervention. Cousin Bob's divorce party. Tuesday. Birthday party. Anniversary. Dog birthday. Welcome home from prison. Cousin Bob's second wedding. Last meal before you go back to prison. We'll cater any and all events for you. Ask for our catering menu. Yeah, okay, come on over. When I worked at a bookstore, I learned that when an author like, I don't know if it's Dean or Don, so I want to say Dean, I never learned that, Dean Kuntz signs his books, their resale value goes up. I also learned that when an author like Stephen King signs Dean Kuntz books, the price goes even higher, and that Dean Kuntz is not amused by this. You know what, now that I'm reading it, I feel like it's Don. Is it a Don? Is it like a Sean Bond thing? A scene bean sort of deal? Wouldn't it be funny if everyone who doesn't jump in an hour goes missing on May 15th, 2023 at 5 hours, 42 minutes, and 35 seconds? <laughs> that would be so funny, bro. How did the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog become the typical sentence that contains all of the letters of the alphabet and not sphinx of black quartz judge my vow, which is objectively a million times cooler? Well, look, I'm just saying we the people have the power to create memes and common phrases, at least. So I think we can do that. If everybody starts using sphinx of black quartz judge my vow, I think we can replace the stupid brown fox bolt. I like that one a lot more. It's a lot more fun, and it's more challenging to say. It's actually quite hard. Let me try it one more time. Sphinx of Black Quartz, judge my vow. Yeah, it requires trying a little harder to enunciate. Where does it hurt? Headache, stomach ache, spending the entire day preparing bread dough just for it to burn in the oven. Oh, shit, that sucks, man. I'm genuinely sorry. Made on Earth by humans. I don't buy that for one friggin' second, dude. At my funeral. Take the bouquet off my coffin and throw it into the crowd to see who is next. And if you could be so kind, could you throw it at one of my family members I'm not super fond of just to make them panic a little bit? And maybe, to make it a little spicier, give them a cryptic message along with it, like goodbye, or a gift, one final gift from him. Anyone else start falling asleep in a place that's not your bed, and when you finally get to your bed, you're not tired? Yeah, couch tired never translates to the bed. It never does, and quite honestly, I think it's torture. Me, says the wrong name during sex, my girlfriend. Who the f is Imperator Caesar Nerva Trianus Divinerve Filifilur but Augustus? I'm sorry, I couldn't even remotely <laughs> pretend to read that whole name. Holy God. Imperator Caesar Nerva Trianus Divi Nerve Filius Augustus? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. How will you react when on October 17th, 2024, a skinned corpse missing three fingers is found on a Wisconsin doorstep? <laughs> the beginning? The beginning of what? What's gonna happen? You know that feeling of anxiety as you're about to walk past the security sensors on your way out of a store and you think, oh my god, did I shove a TV up my ass? I can't remember. Oh yeah. It's even worse if you've got something on your clothes that sets off the sensors and you don't see an employee around to say, hey, by the way, it's just my clothes. So then when you leave again, you think, oh God, it's gonna happen again. And they're certainly gonna think I stole something. My friend sucked for the first time today. And she said she cried in the toilet after because this cum tasted like ham and she's a vegetarian. All right. That is definitely something I didn't think I would ever read. Awesome. If you got a cucumber stuck in your ass, would you rather go to the doctor or just die with some shred of dignity? I don't mean get back out, bro. <laughs> I mean, if it's a cucumber, it, it's not like you got a light bulb stuck up there. It's a cucumber. What do your shits look like, dude? All right, let's see. When grandpa rushes your bedside for some late night excitement and your weak child frame can't fight him off, so you lay back and accept it. That's a little too accurate. Is everything okay at home, bud? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure it was just a stupid joke, but it's not a f funny joke. It's kind of gross and creepy, so... I hope that it's just tr someone trying to be funny. I really hope that's what it is. Genuinely hope. 
If not, we gotta find this guy and kill his grandfather. I mean, Jesus. Sorority girls be like, oh my god, I'm such a crackhead, while talking on the phone with their friend on the Bluetooth speaker in their BMW while hitting their jewel, sipping their hydro flask, and wearing a $130 Lululemon shorts. Or sorry, not A. Wearing shorts. Yeah, Bethany, try c just once, please. I don't think we should be encouraging Bethany to try c I mean, it's not a natural step from Jules, okay? You might get Bethany killed. I'm just saying, Beans, maybe it's not a cool thing to do to someone. I'm sad we never got an extremely mid-Telltale Breaking Bad game with 2013 Xbox 360-ass graphics, looking Jesse and Walt and, and UI that looks like a grungy periodic table. Sorry, I'm just- I'm envisioning this? When you're a 14-month-old French infant in a military hospital in the late 18th century and that weird hungry guy comes into your room, can't stop thinking about this post. I don't think any that face you make when type posts has prompted over 20 minutes of research in me before. I'm not doing it. You can if you want. I want to name my daughter Mayonnaise and shorten it to May. May isn't short for anything, so no one will ever ask her what her full name is, but she'll constantly live with the knowledge that she's named after a condiment. Child abuse. Every heartwarming human interest story in America is like, he raised $20,000 to keep 200 orphans from being crushed in the orphan crushing machine. And then we never ask why an orphan crushing machine exists or why you'd need to pay to prevent it from being used. POV, you're a girl in the South with no goals. You meet a guy with snakeskin boots and a hooey hat. He drives a Duramax with 14% interest. You're contemplating on applying for that job that requires you to wear scrubs. You get the job. He refinances his Duramax so you can afford a nice trailer and on 10 acres, whoo! You get a purebred dog that you name after a gun company. One of you cheats, the other's abusive, but you both love each other so you try for a kid. Life is good. If I drop my hammer on a job site and it falls 30 feet onto someone's head, is that involuntary manslaughter or would OSHA step in and protect me because he didn't wear a hard hat? Huh, ask your lawyer. Average juicer doesn't know what it's like to struggle. They're sitting in their college dorm playing Overwatch or League, yelling into a microphone, procrastinating, instead of doing their calculus homework. Parents pay for everything, of course. Never landed a job, nor do they want one unless it involves doing nothing at a computer. Not in any clubs, only hobby is gaming. Addicted to anime, socially incompetent. Four years pass by, and they realize they wasted college and never made any friends. Sounds a bit like an autobiography. Pancake mix is too thick, adds water. Pancake mix is too runny, adds mix. Pancake mix is too thick. Adds water, feeds family 120 pancakes. I fail to see the problem. Sex is cool, but have you ever made a joke at a dinner party that bombed and you felt bad, but then the host of the party pulled you aside and said it wasn't your fault the joke bombed? It's just that Kate's brother died in a skiing accident, so skiing jokes are off bounds. Does anyone else feel like they're a lazy perfectionist with ADHD and chronic fatigue who's pretty chill, besides the occasional panic attack, and loves their friends but hates people? Yeah. Which one of these pills are we going to take? P goes directly into the toilet without needing to get up. Luck increased by 20%. It's a little generic. Invisible to women. Own the house from Beetlejuice. Unlimited arrows. So I see that Legolas took the arrow pill. I clearly took the middle pill at one point in my life. Although I would honestly like the first pill. I'm proud to identify as morosexual. I'm attracted to dumbasses and dumbasses exclusively. A guy asked me what the Spanish word for tortilla was once, and now I dream of kissing him under the moonlight. This same idiot. What kind of animal is the Pink Panther? Me, already taking my clothes off? Benjamin, you're so f***ing stupid. When you were 11, did you handwrite three chapters of the first book of a planned trilogy and then completely forget about it? Until you discovered the notebook as an adult and were horrified, or were you normal? I guess I was normal. The boring presentation I made, the funny and cool kid I got paired with improvising jokes, making my presentation less boring and getting us an A, me trying to hide my boner. Still don't know why they had The Rock there for that. I... Sure. Oh, it's Drew. Dude, you gotta watch this show. The first five seasons are friggin' terrible, and every episode is nine hours long, but season seven is decent, and season 12 literally made me laugh. You can only watch it on Prime Video, and every episode costs four dollars. Gen Z will never understand growing up with parents who basically poured a gallon of milk into your body with a funnel every day, because Big Milk told them if we didn't drink enough, our bones would go soft, and we'd turn into pudding people and get kidnapped at the mall. I remember some of that. You have 30 minutes to hide a USB drive in your house. Your house will then be raided by the police, detectives, and some FBI agents all searching for the USB drive. Where do you hide it so it won't be found? 
I can only imagine that right now, somewhere in the world, there's a group of FBI agents raiding a house, sweating, not being able to find a specific USB. Their boss is on their ass, and their last hope is to consult the all-knowing members of the Ask Reddit community. And I'm sure they got their answer, though. I'm going to put it in my nose. Hmm, I have a feeling these aren't real scholarships. Use your personal email address so you can continue to receive scholarship decisions even after you graduate? What? As you age, it's ridiculous how fast bird watching creeps up on you. You spend your whole life being 100% indifferent to birds. And then one day you're like, damn, that's a yellow rumped warbler. One year in here for $30 billion. You have no books, movies, phones, consoles, nothing. Can you do it? Okay, this is probably gonna sound psychopathic, but listen to me. You got food, right? I just find something really boring, laborious, and time-consuming to do with my food. Like, if it's a protein bar, I'd smash it into really tiny bits and count them very slowly while eating. Ain't even in the room and you've already lost it. Yeah? I mean, you gotta remember, you're not gonna be alone in there for very long. Isolation is torture. If you woke up tomorrow morning a billionaire, what's the most extravagantly lavish thing you'd waste some money on? I'd go to generic restaurants, give my waiter or waitress $100 to send a glass of milk with ice in it to a specific table. The $100 would be kept quiet about who sent the milk, or rather, to keep them quiet. I would do this several more times to the same table until they got visibly upset. No waiter in the world would stop sending ice milks, especially after I raised the offer to $500. If I were a waiter, I would gladly keep putting glasses of milk with ice in it on someone's table, even if they were screaming in my face if I made 500 bucks each time. <laughs> so yeah, I would do ice milk, instant classic. Most homophobes are secretly gay. However, most arachnophobes are not secretly spiders. You sure? Okay, serious question, what's this for? This is for my mom to dramatically grab onto when I'm going 26 and a 25. Or when you stop the car literally every time. Who does Rihanna make music for? Hmm. She makes music for girls who cheat on their man like crazy, but want to fight the chick at the drive-thru for being a little too nice to the man she's cheating on. Okay. Occasionally, I'll get a sudden powerful urge to grab a pigeon off the street and shove it in my bag. But apart from that, everything's fine. I think you're doing okay, then. Why are math teachers never sick and English teachers are always pregnant? Was it the English teachers? But yeah, you're right, math teachers never miss anything. The boredom of self-isolation. Did you know that if you rest a naked testicle on top of an open beer bottle and hold a naked flame underneath the bottle, the testicle will be sucked into the bottle? If you do know this, how do you get it out? Waiting for the answer, please hurry. Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your estranged father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. Sable, what? I need to tell you something really important. What's up? Okay, so this may sound like I'm messing with you, but I promise I'm not. I was recently diagnosed with a terminal disease called... I'm not gonna try and read that. Basically, if I don't get enough blood flow to my ears, they'll slowly freeze and will fall off. Then it will spread to my inner ear and brain. There's no cure for it except one. I need you to constantly warm my ears, and the only material soft enough is the inner thighs of a pretty girl, so I need you to sit on my face for medical reasons. Boy! Also, like 10 to 15 years from now, I hope someone makes one of those inspirational sports movies, except it's a 50-year-old woman who wants to play competitive online games. And everyone tells her she can't because she's too old, her reflexes are too slow, etc. And she gets this grizzled trainer, except they're a 19-year-old kid who had a promising career until carpal tunnel syndrome ruined their chances of becoming the world champion. So they train her and she f wins the end movie of the year. Therapist, it's called a, war roar a Rorschach test. God, wow. Look at the ink blots and tell me what you see. Me, a butterfly. And this, a butterfly. And this, a butterfly. So, you want to f butterflies. <laughs> you do. Life is like soccer, because my mom signed me up for it and expects me to try my best even though I freaking hate soccer. Imagine you're a middle-aged mom and you let your teenager invite some friends over and you bring them like lemonade and cookies and crap, and 10 years later you find out one of those kids joined a band and wrote a top 100 song about how you were his puberty-fueled teenage sex dream, and you have to spend the early 2000s listening to it play on overhead speakers every time you visit the mall, all because you tried to let your teenage daughter Stacy have a social life. It's time for another round of situations I would bet my life I'm the only one it's happened to. So, I filled up a latex glove with water, right? And I'm listening to music with headphones, and I'm sucking on the thumb of the glove because I can. And the thumb bursts, but only the part in my mouth. So it's starting to leak into my mouth, and I have headphones on, looped around so I can take them off. And if I open my mouth, the water will spill out everywhere. So I have to pick up my phone, 
hold the glove above my head with the other hand, or with the other, with the other, uh, keep my head tilted up, and walk slowly to the sink to let it spill out without anyone else noticing. Honestly, I half expected this to be some fan fiction Final Destination death. With the way it was set up, I was prepared for it. Pigs can't look up, but I could pick a pig up one night and raise it into the sky and tilt this pig ever so gentle. I can make sure this pig's eyes line up with the stars. Imagine seeing the stars for the first time. I want to be treated that kindly and see the stars for the first time. Is Vincent D'Onofrio okay? Also, did he actually tweet this? Because if so, he's even cooler than I thought. The sketchy guy at your rich friend's party starter pack. Whoa! When I was asked to pick a place to eat for my birthday, I picked a vegan restaurant. My mom said, why don't you pick a place where everyone can get something to eat? Ha 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 ha, the number of fucking steakhouses I've had to eat french fries at. And salad! Wait, I'm sorry, I can't read, it doesn't matter. Can they not eat vegan food? Like, not at all? My stepdad can't. He acts like if he doesn't eat meat with every meal, a clown will steal his penis. <laughs> what the fuck? Laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trusted you. Do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Wow. There's probably at least one white guy adopted and raised in China who speaks English with a Chinese accent and strangers assume he's a total asshole. Statistically, probably. Girls get nicknames because of affection in terms of endearment. Guys get nicknames because they took French onion soup to a Super Bowl party one time. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's crazy that they only figured out tectonic plates in the 60s. A child in the 50s would say, It seems like South America and Africa would fit together. And his mom would go, That's cute, honey. Would you like a cigarette? Guide for teens. Tell the cops nothing. Tell the paramedics everything. Your eyebrows are fine. I don't know if I'm reading a synopsis for this movie or an ad by an estate agent. This is for... Only child of a doctor couple is murdered in her sleep inside their large 1,300 square foot duplex apartment with excellent ventilation, plenty of natural light, multiple entrances, detect... Yeah, what the hell? The I went to Thailand and stroked a heavily sedated tiger and it was a life-changing experience bottoms. Co-worker relationships are crazy because we don't hang out or talk outside of work, but I know you tried to poison your husband once. You keep that to yourself, huh? A 1950s magazine ad shows a tip on how to dispose of batteries. Burn old flashlight batteries in the fireplace now and then. The burning zinc may help prevent soot formation and the metals and chemicals make colorful flames. Wow, it was a different time for so many bad reasons. American badgers look like they're about to drag you into a back alley and pull a shiv on you to demand money for their meth habit. European badgers look like they're about to invite you over for a cup of tea and some custard creams at their little cottage in the countryside. All I know is they don't give a sh either way. Gotta respect the longevity of Microsoft Word. Nothing about it works and it's still the standard. Want to move an image? Go to hell. Edit a PDF? Edit your expectations. Ignore a spelling mistake? How about suck my d- That'll be $150. As a kid, I thought sleepovers were wild because we played video games for 10 hours. Then I heard about girl sleepovers, and they're wild, man. They gossip and eat 40 pounds of food and take blood oaths and host fight night and sacrifice the weakest member to the goddess of the moon like what the fuck? Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Hypothetically, if you were in a relationship for six months, 15 days, four hours, and 17 seconds, only to discover she's your biological sister, would you still continue to date her? Um... What's your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit for photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated sizes that take too much space. Or, Doom Guy's a bottom. There are two kinds of people. If I could give any advice to my eight-year-old self, Stop talking about how much you like owls all the time. You're about to get worthless owl things for every holiday until you're 20. Start talking about how much you like cold hard cash. How do I tell my boyfriend that I want him to scream at me in bed like he's Gordon Ramsay and I'm a little chef who just ruined a creme brulee? Huh. You could just tell him that, you know? I don't think he's gonna think it's that weird. It's not like you're asking him to pee on you. Chihuahua owners will really just say things like, this is Princess Prissy Shits. She's two years old, has 17 rare diseases, tried to kill me with a small knife, and vomits constantly. She's so cute. And you have to pretend like this little thing doesn't look like a fly with anencephaly and sounds like a broken wee. I must say, that should also belong in 
Brand new sentence. Never heard that one before. I don't often get sick, but when I do, I instantly become a frail Victorian child asking mother for permission to be carried into the garden to see the sun one last time before the consumption takes hold. That's how I felt after my booster shot, dude. Ordering a pizza on a snowstorm is such a dick move. Oh, the roads are too bad to drive, but let's see if this 17-year-old kid can make it in his 04 Kia. Look, big tip. That's all I can say. Even if you come from a place in the world where tipping's not customary, you order a pizza or something like that, and a teenager, or anybody for that matter, has to come drive it to your ass, huge tip. Huge. Please do not eat in the library. The ants will get in and learn to read and get too smart, and knowledge is power, but power corrupts, so they'll turn evil and take over the world. Dude, look. If ants, all ants in the world, suddenly rose up against us, we wouldn't stand a f***ing chance. What if he was one big-ass eye socket without an eye? And when women they take the eye out right before you stick it in, but never show you it, because they know you're gonna freak out. What is wrong with you? Bet the Germans have a word for when you go to... to what? To stock up on treats for the weekend on a Wednesday? And then, have to look at them for the rest of the week. You do have a lot of words. Your death metal garbage sounds like music to sacrifice goats to. <laughs> Glad you like it. It's truly awful. Can you turn it down, please? You missed the point. If I turn it down, you'll hear the goat screaming. Ah, good point. Turn it up. You will die at an Arby's in Columbus, Ohio. What if I never go to Columbus, idiot? Where are centaurs' lungs and heart? Logic says in the peopley chest bit, but they wouldn't be big enough for an animal that size. And if they're in the horse bit, what's inside the peopley chest bit? Extra ammo. Stamps foot. I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Thibodeau Landry who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French. That is who you should be cooking the Cajun food from, all right? Ask one of them native boys or ladies. Generally, you want a grandma because she spices that sh Oh, so perfect. I've gone so many years without physical contact that at this point, I think someone tenderly holding my hand would kill me. Like how a flavor-blasted goldfish would kill a medieval peasant. I wonder if it actually would kill a medieval peasant. I mean, I don't think it literally would, but I think they would have a heart attack from all that delicious flavor. I mean, imagine the most flavorful thing you've ever had is a piece of bread. Maybe chicken. You know? Eh? One year in here for 30 billion dollars. You've got no books, movies, phones, consoles, anything. Can you do it? People are talking about this like it's a matter of keeping yourself entertained. Dude, you're gonna be seeing the Hat Man by day eight. Yeah, and I'll welcome him, man. Thirty billion dollars will keep me sane. Trust me. Six desserts that are better than sex, but not as good as Hey Ya by Outkast. Huh. Wanted. Someone to climb into this hole in the library for us. Job requirements. Limber, trusting, has not read the cask of... Oh. Um, Khloe Kardashian's hand looks like the hands of what I imagine lives under my bed and grabs my ankles in my sleep. Yikes, those nails are terrible. Me. This pizza's really good. Someone who visited Italy with their family for a week when they were 14. <sighs> it's fine. Bro, I'm tired of people ever pretending they've had a bad pizza. I don't think so. Unless you literally got that pizza completely uncooked and started eating dough and shit, you didn't have a bad pizza. Oh, Little Caesars is the worst pizza in the- No, it's not. Shut the fuck up, you baby It's fine. It's pizza, bro. When you get home from a long-ass day at work and your girl asks if you'd still love her if she was a lamp, I don't know, I think it's funny. Unless they use it as an excuse to get mad at you for no reason, in which case it's not funny anymore, but I don't know any girls that do that, unironically. They should not be giving cops horses. Give those horses to postal workers so I can sit on my porch drinking iced tea and then a guy rides up on a horse and says, Hey pal, got a letter for you here. <laughs> the British are coming, man. Me in hell describing gaslighting and love bombing to a medieval peasant who was executed for stealing a spoonful of buckwheat in 1259. I'd watch that show any day. Huh. Thursday is the Luigi of weekdays. It's not as popular as Friday, but it's not evil like Monday or Tuesday. Wednesday is Toad. Okay. Wife. Ugh, here comes Brad from my work. Me. Which one's he again? The guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or an insult. Well, 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 someone smells like muffin mix. Brad, that makes me uncomfortable. All right, customer request. Crust a little crisper than normal, but not too crispy. If that's not vague enough, make it like you're taking revenge on a cheating boyfriend, but you still want to reconcile in the not-so-distant future. 
Also customer request. The gate's tricky, please don't break it. And the spider on the porch is called Frank. Be nice to Frank, he guards the tomatoes. Apparently some people go to bed and just sleep. They don't plot a seven book epic fantasy series or softly broil in existential dread or replay every mistake they've ever made. And then they wake up, uh, refreshed? It just, it sounds a bit fake, okay? Finding out someone's go-to OTC painkiller is so insane. Like, you're friends with someone for years and then you find out they come from a Tylenol family. Ibuprofen, the hottie, lover, the gold standard. Tylenol, like, okay, I guess? Someone's mom is a nurse. Aleve, hardcore, possibly goth? This person has chronic pain, lots of respect to him. Aspirin, what's going on here? More questions than answers. Totally agree, that all makes sense. Although I'm not buying Aleve or Tylenol, I'm buying the generic version because it's the same sh** for half the price. Come on! Wait, does Excedrin mean you're a bougie b Twizzlers taste like as if someone was vaguely thinking of cherries whilst melting plastic bags into a pasta noodle press. Oh man, Twizzlers are terrible. Not sorry. Cool country you got there. Would be a shame if someone invented a website for ranking hot girls on campus and your mom used it to learn how to poison herself with horse paste. I hate the way the dominoes fall. See somebody on Twitter who's more successful than me. I gotta get off this website. Switches to Instagram and sees someone hotter than me. Man, f*** this app. Goes on Facebook and sees a guy I went to middle school with is in jail for murder. <laughs> there we go. Pigs can't look up, but I could pick up a pig one night and raise it to the sky and tilt this pig ever so gentle. I can make sure this pig's eyes line up with the stars. Imagine seeing the stars for the first time. I want to be treated that kindly and see the stars for the first time. Vincent D'Onofrio? Don D'Onofrio? Him? Really? No way. Dog shelters. Don't buy puppies. Consider adoption instead. Also dog shelters. This is Piss Fingers. She's 19 years old and can't live at home with children, books, or electricity. Piss Fingers is nervous around hair and needs 400 acres of land and an orchard of extinct fruits. I take in Piss Fingers. Cringer. Remember when Pizza Hut pan pizzas were basically a culinary delicacy? They'd bring them out in a real skillet that was piping hot at 700 degrees Fahrenheit, right as your third song kicked in on the jukebox after you played a game of Galaga? We were royalty. Couldn't you also get those for free through some kind of reading program too? Authorities cannot be more specific than this. Do not touch your partner's private parts while he or she is driving. Yeah, I don't think they could realistically get more specific. Children are so strange. I just had seven young boys on my front porch demanding to see my cat. They had a leader. I opened the door and before I could greet them he said, Where's your cat? I know he's in there. We see him in the windows and he's real fat. I don't know what to do here. Get the cat. What do you mean? Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon, into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your estranged father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. Some of you never had to manually upload your CD collection to your wonky laptop in order to populate your playlist so you could have your favorite music on your iPod, only to have the whole library wiped out because you ejected it improperly. So you smashed your iPod, and it shows. Man, I do remember having to import CDs into iTunes, dude. It was satisfying, gave you something to do for a little while. I'm not like other girls, she said, golden skin shimmering in the summer sun, and she wasn't. She was a rotisserie chicken that I bought, took outside, and performed a small skit with in the parking lot before eating it in my car while sobbing loudly. You sound fun. I hate ordering from Starbucks. It's like, hi, can I get a mango bing bong iced sprinkled banjo drink with two shots of Hyundai Tucson, please? It's almost as bad as going to IHOP. You have to say Rudy Tooty fresh and fruity as an adult human being. Tommy Lee Jones always looks like his son just told him he cooked a ribeye steak in an air fryer. You know, I, I can see that. Streaming music. Every song is on every platform. Streaming shows. Season one is on Netflix, two is on Hulu, except for the season finale, which is only available on HBO Max in Japan. It's turning into cable again, and I'm getting kind of pissed. The Sun is probably the closest thing we'll ever have to a true eldritch abomination. Hear me out here. Older than recorded history, was here longer than any of us and will be here long after we're gone, has a finite beginning and end, but is still incomprehensibly ancient, burns itself into your vision instantly and can blind you if you look at it for too long. Further prolonged exposure can cause cancerous growths. Non-humanoid shape floating through space. Colossal flaming tentacles angrily lash out on occasion. Sorta just appeared one day and is now surrounded by the corpses of its stillborn children. 
People use it to sacrifice other people to appease it. Pretty sure it screams at us sometimes. No, no, no. It's screaming all the time. We're just lucky that space has no way for sound to travel through it. Otherwise, we'd have that screaming son from Rick and Morty 24-7. The fewer words a magic sword's name has, the more dangerous it is. You don't want to be on the wrong end of Dark King Grootmore's Edge of Annihilation. Don't get me wrong. But you for sure don't want to be on the wrong end of something called the Throngler. Oh, yeah. The shorter the name, the more legendary it really is. Look at Gandalf's sword. Glamdring. One word. You know what that means? Foe hammer. Or beater. I like foe hammer. Tea. Calming. Many flavors. The answer to all problems. Coffee. Anxiety juice. Three heartbeats for the price of one. More than four cups and you can talk to electricity. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Every woman's biggest nightmare is late marriage. Mine's sitting on a toilet and a hidden snake attacks my vagina, but okay. He drives the car like he's a retired teacher with three kids and this is his side job because his third son will marry soon and he wants him to have a great wedding. Aha. Uh -huh. Either you had a Wii growing up or your parents are still together. You only get one. I mean, I had a Wii growing up, but my mom was single until years after I left home. I think they still have the Wii, though. Therapist. So how depressed would you say you've been feeling lately? Me? I don't care anymore if my foot hangs over the bed where a monster can get it. Jesus, wow. Made on Earth by humans. Are we gonna send that one into space, too? Where should you have sex once in your life? On the hood of your car, in the dead of night beside a railroad track while a long freight train flies by. The breeze on your feels amazing. So I've heard. Imagine someone asks you to cat sit. You come over and it's just a goddamn femboy sitting there in cat ears gnawing at you. Hmm, I'd get in so much trouble for f***ing their cat. Jesus Christ. Your fiance gets kidnapped in a foreign country. You stay out till 2 a.m. searching with authorities, but eventually you call it and return to your hotel. Do you still do your skincare routine, yes or no? <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the one relating to your wife being in the hospital. You have to drive there. On the way there, do you play some tunes or do you drive in silence? What a fun question to end today's video on, folks. Ten years from now, you'll put on a jacket and find a mask in the pocket. Oh man, what a weird year that was. You'll chuckle to yourself. Then you'll pick up your machete and continue across the wasteland, keeping to the shadows to avoid the roving gangs of cannibal raiders. I'm hoping that's the future. That sounds like fun. If you were the type of child that hoarded stickers because you couldn't commit to sticking them onto something and not being able to remove them in one piece, congrats! You're now an anxious adult, as are you, apparently. The single most important thing a man can do do to be an ally is to give his woman friends permission to give dudes at the bar his number so that when they call he can angrily say that's not funny because she died 15 years ago that very night. I like that. Chris Jericho out here looking like your recently divorced middle-aged alcoholic aunt who just took a pre-bowling alley night selfie before heading out to meet her Tinder date named Chuck. That's Chris Jericho? Is that not the lead singer of Guns N' Roses? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. So when I started my sociology course in college, my teacher started us off with, well, I guess we have to do icebreakers. I'm John, and I fear bears. Why do I fear bears? Because bears can run at 30 miles an hour, and Chester Zoo is 30 miles away. That means a bear can be outside the door in an hour. Why would a bear be there? Because they can smell fear and I fear them. Might be kind of dangerous to be around that teacher then, huh? Sorry if I'm not your cup of tea. I'm not even my own cup of tea. I'm barely a cup and I don't like tea. I'm more like a rusty bucket of haunted bog water. Sorry if I'm not your rusty bucket of haunted bog water. <laughs> if I were a human bone trying to escape the body, I'd probably wait until that person was eating a chicken wing, then try to slip out through the mouth. Let them think I'm just part of the wing they ate. By the time they figure it out, I'm long gone. Are bones trying to escape on a regular basis? Yeah, breakups hurt, but have you ever been a super talkative, enthusiastic person, but slowly over the years and after trauma after trauma, you watch yourself become more quiet and quiet to the point where that enthusiastic, bubbly person just isn't who you are anymore? Bro, I'm in the middle of that right now. If you try to hand a woman something enclosed in your fist, she's going to think you're trying to hand her a bug. Even if you've known her for years and have never tried to give her a bug before, they never let their guard down regarding being handed a bug. And I don't either. You keep that fist away from me. All right, new rule. If you regularly consume the blood and flesh of a demigod in a room full of chanting elders, you're not allowed to call other religions primitive and evil. This is oddly specific and leaves some very interesting questions unanswered. Catholicism sure does sound weird when you put it that way. Starting a job feels like you're a new character on the ninth season of a TV show. Yeah, uh. Embrace your inner child. Run in a meadow. Laugh at the sun. Follow the rain 
rainbow, pee in your pants, get angry at the color blue, scream because circles should be squares, tell a stranger she looks like the lady in daddy's secret magazines, believe in magic, college students home for quarantine, assert dominance by waking up before your parents so that when they come downstairs you can passive aggressively sip your coffee and say, well look who finally decided to get out of bed. <laughs> hey, who's your favorite short, half Irish, half Jewish, but secular, dark haired, light eyed, former child actor with a severe nickel allergy who played the title character from a beloved British children's book about a child with magic powers? Me, right? Damn it, Radcliffe! People protesting for Disneyland to open so they can walk around in the blazing sun for seven hours to go on three rides, then have the worst family fight in years and silently drive home. I don't go there with family. Dogs are welcome in this hotel. We've never had a dog that smoked in bed and set fire to the blankets. We've never had a dog that stole our towels and played the TV too loud, or had a noisy fight with his traveling companion. We've never had a dog that got drunk and broke up the furniture. So if your dog can vouch for you, you're welcome too. The management. Cute dog. Can I have them? No. Can I have you instead then? That was smooth. <laughs> it's all just a facade to make you drop your guard with me. Then we fall in love, move to Hawaii and get married. But I work too much, so we argue. We decide it's time for us to split up. I get the dog and the divorce. It was all for the dog. Imagine you're living inside a tiny mushroom house with a tiny chimney deep in the woods. No one knows you exist. You make soup in a tiny pot. You are free. You don't know what fun is until you've witnessed a drunk on the Edinburgh to Glasgow train screaming, I fucking hate hedgehogs. Come at me, you jabby weak. While angrily circling a hairbrush that's been dropped on the floor. <laughs> Yo, can anybody tell me about this ice cream here? They got it packaged all nice and it's set up like only rich people buy it, so I need to know. Because the display make me want to buy it. Oh, dude, that shit is so awesome. That's not ice cream. This is gelato, aka a Italian god sent from the clouds of Olympia. It's icier and creamier than ice cream ever fathomed. Bluebell had a pure sweet child with a velvet suede three-piece suit, and that child got straight A's in culinary perfection and went on to graduate with a PhD in delicious from the University of Yes Lord. That salted caramel tastes like sex with your favorite celebrity. Cop that, and he is right. Remember when you used to go over to your friend's house and you'd go down to the computer room to the dad's old shitty desktop computer and sit on the giant black leather computer chair and your friend would show you Charlie the Unicorn and epic rap battles of history type stuff on YouTube while their younger siblings bugged you for a turn on the computer? Maybe once, but we were usually playing RuneScape. Dudes will be like, where's my big titty GF with a small waist that watches anime and plays video games but not too much and can both be my mom and my therapist. Meanwhile, they're just some guy. Wow. I was at work and I had the hiccups. I was stalking an aisle and this lady in the aisle heard me hiccuping and said, oh, do you have the hiccups? And I said, yeah. She said, do you want me to get rid of them? And I thought that she meant she was going to scare me. So I was like, no, thanks. And she was like, do you want to keep your hiccups? And I said, yeah, please don't scare me. And then I wandered off. Then a couple of minutes later, I still had the hiccups and she walked by. And on her way out, she said, I wasn't going to scare you, you know. And I said, you weren't? She said, no, I have a way I can cure hiccups. I was like, well, what is it? She says, there's something about me. When I talk to people, their hiccups just go away. I just chat or maybe tell them a story and after a minute or so, their hiccups are just gone. And I thought she was definitely on some pseudoscience shit. So I kind of laughed and joked like, you should expect a call from the X-Men soon then. She said, no, for real. I bet your hiccups are gone now, aren't they? And sure enough, my fucking hiccups were gone. They stopped while she was speaking to me and didn't come back all night. What the hell kind of power did this woman have? Is she a hiccup witch? I have so many questions for her. The best part of being a hitman has to be taking a shower where you place your hands on the wall and let the water run down your face while you ponder the moral ambiguity of your actions. Huh? Honk if you'd rather be watching the 1999 cinematic masterpiece The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. <laughs> What if you put your fingers in a girl's mouth to be sexy and she just made a really loud whistle with them <laughs> that called a horse over? Is that what they're trying to do? Cool country you got there. Would be a shame if someone invented a website for ranking hot girls on campus and your mom used it to learn how to poison herself with horse paste. <laughs> Shit. Jack Black is literally the only human that never needs any context for me. I could see him going anywhere and doing anything. Like, if I got abducted by aliens and saw him just wandering around the spaceship putting bugle chips on his fingers to make it 
it looked like he had claws, I would be like, that's some classic Jack Black right there, and not even question it. I'm sick of pointing a gun at my dad through my window at 2 a.m. as he please, come on, Jake, just let your old paw in, I'm tired, and replying, you're not my dad, he's asleep in the other room, I hear him snoring when watching his expression go sour as he turns back towards the woods. My guy, where do you live? Every city has a guy they all know about. You can visit a friend in their town and see a man dressed in robes riding a horse and your friend will go, oh yeah, that's horseback Jesus, and then that's just the end of the explanation. Yeah, every town has a couple of guys. Four persons max, a thousand kilos, or one horse, 5,000 bananas, 6,666 hen's eggs, 2,941 pigeons, 88 haddock, or 10,526 nickels. Oh, thanks. You guys really tested it, didn't you? Hey, old lady who stole our doormat, you should probably just bring it back. That's super weird, and you're way too old for this shit. 25 to 30 years is a long time, y'all. It's long enough to be born, grow up, go to grad school, make no money in your field, get a steady day job, have that job suddenly vanish because of a global pandemic, and then get way too into D&D as a coping mechanism. Hey, hey, had a dream that McDonald's had a big ad campaign that just said, we have it, in black cryptic writing. So I went to a drive-thru and said, I saw the sign, can I have it? And the speaker was silent for a solid 10 seconds before saying, do you think you're ready? In my voice, and I screamed and drove away. Mike, age 35, looking for a girl who's really trusting and healthy, must have both kidneys, non-smoker, and not be a heavy drinker or take any drugs that could damage the liver. Type O negative blood a plus, I'm six feet tall. Did you grow up with an emotionally unavailable parent so you craved love so bad until you eventually resented it and now when someone tries to show you love it makes you extremely uncomfortable or are you normal? Jeez. Jesus, dude. Brownies with or without nuts. The nuts are unnecessary and fuck up my chewing flow. Brings nothing to the table except chaos. Individuals who want nuts in their brownies are unstable and cheat in relationships. Dude, nuts in a brownie? That's a surefire way to destroy something incredibly good. Mmm. This delicious, sweet, chocolatey treat is so chewy and gooey. We should add little f protein rocks into the mix. For those who may not know, Black Panther is the richest comic book character ever created, worth about $500 billion. More than Bruce Wayne's net worth multiplied by Tony Stark's net worth, all multiplied by two. That is all. Correction, Black Panther is the richest character in superhero comics. The richest comic book character all around is Scrooge McDuck, worth about... Five multiplajillion nine impossibadillion seven fantastic a trillion dollars and sixteen cents. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that b is a foodboard pathogen. Stay woke, bros. Don't be boring with your midlife crisis and buy a sports car. Go hard. Learn magic. Lease a falcon. Start a cult. Are people worried about you? Sure. But they're also a little curious. Yeah, man, sign them up for the cult. You gotta make those falcon payments now. The reason cats are so pissy is they're God's perfect killing machines, but they only weigh eight pounds and we keep picking them up and kissing them. <laughs> yeah, that's enough to drive you crazy, huh? Love ordering pizza but hate receiving and or eating it? Call the fake pizza hotline. Uh, no, I don't think I will. Being a serial killer is much like being a comedian, in that you either hit it big and get your own Netflix special, or you spend eternity popping up on shitty podcasts. It's wild that you can just do anything. Date the wrong person, choose the wrong career, you can go outside and start eating dirt if you want, and the universe lets you. Not even a pop-up like, hey man, are you sure? Why isn't porn more realistic? Like, why isn't there one with a husband and a wife, and the wife chokes violently on her own spit, and the husband gets alarmed, and they spend a good five minutes with her coughing and him smacking her on the back, and then the mood is gone, so they go and get donuts. Always carry a potato wrapped in foil to a party. It's a conversation starter. Ever seen a lion's egg? A conversation avoider? Excuse me, hot, hot. A conversation ender? Just got this cyst removed. Feel how heavy. Always carry a potato wrapped in foil to a party. If Uber had an option where a guy with a mullet picked you up in an 87 Chevy Silverado with the windows down, blaring Travis Tritt, cooler full of cores in the truck bed, and responded to everything you said with, hell yeah, brother, then I'd choose it more than I'm proud to admit. I'd be proud to admit I would choose it all the time. Stop trying to make a toxic relationship work and just move back to your hometown. Date someone from your high school class. Conceive a child three months into the relationship. Force a marriage and spend the rest of your life living for the Myrtle Beach vacation you take every July. Humans and sci-fi. Stupid artificial beings. LOL, they don't have feelings, so you could treat them like shit. Humans in real life. I put googly guys on my toaster. His name is James now and I will protect him with my life.
How do I tell my boyfriend that I want him to scream at me in bed like he's Gordon Ramsay and I'm a little chef who just ruined a creme brulee? You don't. You keep that bottled up forever. I got blocked and ghosted on Snapchat after sending a selfie a lot of times. I started chatting with a girl and after I sent a selfie I would just get blocked. Don't let that discourage you. These kind of people don't deserve your time and effort anyway. I did eventually find someone, and you will too. Just keep your head up and keep searching. Are we talking a normal selfie and then you were blocked, or was it a full body mirror selfie where you were wearing a fedora and a Rick and Morty silk button up shirt with no pants, no underwear, black socks, and combat boots, and the picture was taken in the mirror of your hoarded dirty bathroom and in the background your elderly mother looks on in surprise and horror while holding a heaping plate of chicken nuggets and a box of Capri Suns? Jesus Christ. Women of Reddit, sexy ones only. What's the sexiest thing about a morbidly obese, gaming addicted, nihilistic, antisocial, narcissistic man child? People cry doing their math homework? Some of you never had to spend hours in the kitchen table crying as your dad shouts, what is three times seven? Yeah, for me it was a little bit different. I wasn't allowed to say I don't know. Dude, you gotta watch this show. The first five seasons are terrible and every episode is nine hours long, but season seven is decent and season 12 literally made me laugh. You can only watch it on Prime Video and every episode costs $4. Thanks, Drew. I'll get on it. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you can eat lasagna in the shower if you want. It's not illegal. They can't arrest you. Go and be free. Unpopular opinion. The best thing young people can do early in their career is to abandon their identity and start over in a coastal New England town as a mysterious but beloved local bartender. I hate horror movie fans. Always saying shit like, have you seen Clown Town 4? It was straight to DVD and banned in Brazil. The ending is a 30 minute torture scene. It's honestly better than The Godfather. <laughs> no one tell James A. Janice. Girlfriend is sleeping and her breasts are exposed. Young me would have lost his mind, but old me is going to stand over her while eating a baguette so I can pretend I'm a coroner mid-autopsy in a terrible cop show. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I simply do not have time for a 30 minute workout today, I said to myself as I proceeded to spend the next two hours watching videos of turtles eating strawberries. What? That's important business. Imagine it's your day in court for a horrible crime you didn't commit. Your lawyer is late. You haven't even met them yet. Then the doors swing open and it's a fucking golden retriever in a suit. Your heart sinks. You realize you are in Air Bud 14, attorney at paw. You weep. No, but you've got plot armor, you're gonna win. Imagine you were a whale and you were breaking up with your whale girlfriend and humans recorded your conversation and put it on Spotify to fall asleep to. That would be so fucked up. Anyone else stuck in this weird cycle where work is so exhausting that your hobbies feel like too much work so you don't do them and you go back to work upset that you didn't take the time to do the things that you like and rinse and repeat? <laughs> no. How come when a house is haunted, it's always a ghost from the 1700s? Imagine a ghost from 2003 screaming, It's Britney, b Sorry. at 3 a.m. Sure, sex is great, but have you taken a shit so hard that it clears your tummy and you feel confident and your depression is cured and you're successful in life and you can conquer the world? I can't say that I've ever taken a crap that good before in my life, and honestly, I'm kind of envious now. Would it be immoral to raise a baby to believe they're growing up in the 90s by only exposing them to 90s media and then telling them the year is 1998 and then one day they're a bit older just to expose them to present day media and convince them they were asleep for a long time but didn't age? Uh, I think that would be a moral yes. Imagine being held at gunpoint, bear with me, by a literate animal, and the only hope of rescue is, bear with me, tweeting a coded message. Holy crap, I haven't seen this one in a while. I know nothing about wine, so I buy bottles based on the label's art. My wife asked me what type of wine I wanted with dinner. I'm like, bear in a scuba suit. I used to do that with beer. People from states with nice roads may never understand what it's like hitting a pothole so hard that your soul leaves your body for a moment and you feel an obligation to audibly apologize to your car. People from states with nice roads? You mean literally none of them? Holy crap, a question I'm qualified for. I bartend, so I always have at least three cheese graters at my disposal. And we'll go through all three blocks on your soup if you don't stop me. I'll then watch and see if you actually eat it, and if you don't, judge you for wasting both my time and my cheese. I'll most definitely eat every single tiny scrap of that cheese and then lick any that fell off out on the table. Then I'll move to the floor, then the other tables, licking each and every customer's plate clean. I've never made it to the kitchen, but if I haven't been escorted out at that point, I'd be cleaning the cheese off of the counters. Okay, so when some PhD nerd does it, they're a chemist, and they get a research grant. But when I do it, I'm a felon, and I need to interlock my fingers behind my head. 
Such bulls don't even talk to me right now. New movie idea. Small town farm boy goes to the big city and falls in love with a hotshot lawyer woman who convinces him to move into the city and start hating Christmas. Dude, please. Sometimes I say, huh? Then answer the question before the person even repeats themselves. I'm not deaf, my brain's just lagging like a 2005 Dell desktop. Mine does that every day, man. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they can't withstand my aura. Can't get sentences like this anywhere else. Can I legally blow up a planet from the solar system? Let's say I build a device, or have a supernatural power that allows me to completely destroy a planet with a giant explosion. Would I be charged by the law if I did that? All planets except Earth, by the way, obviously. By age 25, you should have a failed YouTube career. Yes, absolutely. A foreign film you watched accidentally yet always recommend. I believe so, yes. An unfinished 12-chapter fanfiction. No. An unfounded hatred of TikTok. Not as much. Had enough. Well, I meet a few of the requirements. Have we checked all food to see if exploding them makes them into something better, or did we just stop with corn? Some people have resting bitch face. Adam Driver has resting professor of theology listening to his students present a report on religious symbolism and medieval art that they copied off of Wikipedia face. Okay. If you could only teleport somewhere to and back once, what would you use it on? How long do I stay? You can teleport back whenever you want. I would teleport to the foot of Quentin Tarantino's bed at 2 a.m., scream and shake his bed, then teleport back. What the fuck? Yeah, why him? I think my favorite part of every flight is during takeoff when the pilot screams, Bend to my will, metal skybird, and take us into the big blueness. And all the passengers chant, Skybird, Skybird, to convince the plane to take off. Eh, the chanting does get old. It would be fitting. Foxes are dogs running cat software with a dolphin soundboard. Huh, I'm 25 and completely burnt out. What am I supposed to do for 50 more years? Maintain a yard? Bitch about traffic? Keep buying spinach and watching it die? Get oil changes? For fuck's sake! Yeah, pretty much. I once took my kids to a local farm and we found a little goat with its horn stuck in a fence. Just sitting there kinda mournfully on the grass. We tried to get it free, but it was stuck pretty tight. We petted it for a while and fed it some grass, as it had lawnmowered a circle around itself, as far as it could reach. And then went back to the ticket office to tell them it needed help. But before I'd said more than, there's a goat, the guy cut me off with a weary wave and said, yeah, we know, stuck in the fence. That's Brenda. She gets herself out there whenever she wants. She just likes the attention. Trolled by a goat! I'm fucking dying. Yeah, that's Brenda. So, I tried to read Fifty Shades of Grey this weekend, but every time Anastasia said, oh my, which was like two to three times per page, I couldn't help but imagine George Takei saying, oh my. By page 12, I imagined everything Anastasia said was in George Takei's voice. By page 15, I just imagined George Takei was Anastasia. I had to give up somewhere around page 17 because Christian was starting to sound and look like William Shatner. Captain Kirk, you know. And after that, I imagined everyone wearing Enterprise uniforms and... Oh, okay. Wow. It just turned into a non... A non-sexy Star Trek book. You ask me for the time and notice my watch is actually a live shrimp hugging my wrist. He whispers, 1230. But he's guesstimating as shrimps usually do. The boredom of self-isolation. Did you know that if you rest a naked testicle on top of an open beer bottle and hold a naked flame underneath it, the testicle will be sucked into the bottle? <laughs> if you do know this, do you know how to get it out? Waiting for the answer, please hurry. Yeah. Gotta bust that bottle around your balls, dude. Alexa, show me the unnervingly large Venn diagram of people who hate immigrants but love to take 23andMe tests to find out exactly what type of immigrant their family once was. Okay. I don't want my laptop to be the thinnest model yet. I want a battery that will outlast the sun. A screen big enough to blind the person behind me. More USB slots than there are Apple fanboys in the Bay Area. A f***ing disc reader writer. I'll pay extra for it to be heavy enough to bludgeon someone to death with. It's Catholic canon that in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus Christ saw every sin committed by human beings, which means that he watched a guy blasting rope to Waluigi hentai and still decided to sacrifice himself for humanity. The absolute legend. Imagine you getting a job at a GameStop, and your manager is the type of guy to chug a whole monster energy drink and then say, ha ha, level up. 
And he does that every day. This is oddly specific, are you okay? No, he works for GameStop. The next Call of Duty should be a realistic RPG that starts with you working a Little Caesars and an army recruiter lies to you at the mall. Pretty sure The Onion did a video somewhat like that way back in the day. Dating someone who's not as online as you is weird. In the span of two hours, my girlfriend will read a book, go for a walk, and cook a meal while I'll still be trying to figure out why Communist Daddy 69 thinks I'm a moron. Friend, over the phone, do you think the quarantine has changed you? Me, knitting a dress for the raccoons in my backyard? Uh, no. Every cop show? Damn, this serial killer is crafty, very smart, and sneaky. Every crew crime podcast? Despite dozens of complaints from neighbors, it took over a year for police to investigate the source of the foul odor. You can say please and thank you a million times, and your toddler will never repeat it. But if you say ass-faced motherfucker once, I'm at the age where the heated seats in my truck are more about soothing back pain than warming me up. Oh, Mr. Moneybags over here has heated seats. Wow, this pub is great. I sure hope someone with an acoustic guitar starts playing a cover of the Black Keys Lonely Boy on a set of PA speakers so I have to shout over the top of it to have a conversation with my friends. Oh, dude, even better if you accidentally went on trivia night and the microphone is not cued in right. In third grade, I was suspended for inciting a mob when me and all of my fellow cesarean-born kids started making fun of the natural-born kids because... <laughs> they touched their mom's b and I just wanted to apologize for that before the world ends. Struggle with sleep? Here are some useful tips. Turn your phone off early. Have a relaxing bath. Open the window. Help a raccoon climb through the window so you can watch Netflix together. This is a sleepover now. Make popcorn for the raccoon. Avoid caffeine. Hey, who's your favorite short half-Irish and half-Jewish but secular, dark-haired, light-eyed former child actor with a severe nickel allergy who played the title character from a beloved British children's book about a child with magic powers? Me, right? Damn it, Radcliffe! I really think Rasputin lucked out in that being remembered by history as some species of giant, unkillable sex wizard is something most of us can only fruitlessly aspire to. The only thing I remember is that apparently he never bathed. Can you imagine smelling like a corpse? Big dick or not, why would you want that? Reddit, am I the asshole? My mom, 82, told me, 12, to do the dishes, but I, 12, was too busy playing Fortnite, three kills. So I, 12, grabbed my controller, DualShock 4, and threw it at her, 138 kilometers per hour. I love seeing people online say, I watch real movie criticism, while linking to a video labeled, Captain Marvel sucks and is cancer. That's an hour long by a guy named the sarcastic alcoholic who uses an icon of a plague doctor in a tuxedo drinking scotch and face palming. <laughs> Oh, man. Sex is great, but have you ever handed in your notice to a job that shattered your mental health for months? Nothing has felt more liberating in my life. When I quit Comcast, I felt like I had been freed. Bro, why is laundry the most exhausting chore? I do the laundry for two hours and feel like I fought 12 seagulls. I don't know, I've never had any issue with the laundry. I find it kinda relaxing now. Damn, girl, are you a kid's movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in many ways I didn't originally realize. My 36F husband 41M has some disturbing requests for after he's passed away. This one's really bizarre, and I'm sorry ahead of time. My husband of 12 years has had some medical problems recently. The topic about end-of-life plans came up, and I asked if he wanted to be buried. He did not want that, nor did he want to be cremated. My husband wants me to have his skull taken from his body and cleaned. Then, he wants that skull put on the mantelpiece in the living room. The rest of his body, he wants sent to one of those places that makes the gems out of bodies, and made into two blue diamonds. He then wants those gems to be put in the eye sockets of the skull to look like eyes. Then, he can watch the family home and be passed down through the generations. That is some Resident Evil Mansion sh** right there, dude. Gotta go find the blue gems and put them in the skull to make the clock stop. Women get to smell like real things. Vanilla. Lavender. But men have to smell like concepts. What the f*** is cool sport rush? Listen, if you sneak up on someone to grab them as a joke and they elbow you in the diaphragm as hard as possible, that's your fault. Your entire goal was to startle. Some people's startle response is a limbic hijack mode. That's fight. You ran the risk of that happening to you and you still did it. 
I'm just sick of the, oh my god, what's your problem reaction, when it's like, I don't know, man, you triggered a deeply entrenched survival instinct for a laugh, and it didn't work out for you. Maybe shut the f*** up? Adult Arthur looks like he used to front a regionally successful pop-punk band in the late thousands. That was really just a few years too late to really catch the big commercial wave, so... Then he got into tech startups. Man, I teared up at that finale, dude. It's not a Sunday unless you completely waste it and then feel really sad around 8 p.m. Whenever I eat soup with bread on the side, I like to pretend I'm in a medieval tavern having supper after a long day of traveling. Me too. I miss how Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network only aired commercials aimed at kids. I wish there was an option like that on Hulu or YouTube. Like, please no more insurance or antidepressants. Only show me the latest in super soaker technology. Do British people really still do the accent when nobody's around? It's Tuesday, and it a bottle of water. I beg your pardon, my dear fellow. However, I must point out to you that we don't all talk like we're a street urchin selling jellied eels from a bucket. Really? I don't want to work five days a week and figure out what to cook for dinner every day. I want to lie on a rock in the sun like a lizard. Men writing women's characters. She was beautiful but didn't know it. She was five foot seven and 101 pounds. Her feet were size three. Her hat size was infant. She'd never thrown up even once. Her periods lasted 45 minutes and her top was see-through. She breasted breastily down the hallway. 